Hello, I'm Laura Smits for the Finance News Network and joining me from Potash West is its Managing Director and CEO, Patrick McManus. Patrick, welcome to the Gold Coast Resources Showcase. Thank you, Lilda. Potash West is currently working on taking your Dundarragan Trough project in West Australia's Perth Basin to production. At what stage is pre-feasibility work? In the last year, we've, we've announced the Jork resource and the results of the scoping study based on that resource. And that certainly indicated that a, uh, there is a viable project uh, on the Dandaragon Trough. And we're now looking to go into the next stage of pre-feasibility work, which is basically um, building and operating a pilot plant to prove up the process. So what timeline have you put on construction and commissioning the project? And what major milestones do you need to reach before then? There's probably three major milestones before we actually start construction, which could be in about 2016. One is to build the pilot plant, um, and run that, and from the results of that test work, complete a pre-feasibility. From the pre-feasibility, assuming it to be positive, we'd go on and do a feasibility study. That would be completed in about 2015 and we'd then be looking to raise money to actually do the plant construction. Now, you've recently announced fresh green sand mineralisation. How do the results support or expand upon previous results? One, the, there's an exploration target in the Dinner Hill area of between one and one and a half billion tonnes. So it's about 10 times more than we've currently got as a jork. And secondly, about 50 kilometres away, we've got a very thick intersection of green sands which underpins our belief that the resource in this region will be very, very large. Last time we spoke in March, you had identified an opportunity to produce a better quality phosphate product. What does this process involve and when do you expect it would be complete? What that in would involve is actually the, the phosphate is present as rock phosphate nodules within the green sands. And the work we're looking at at the moment is basically to extract that um, the rock phosphate prior to going into the KMAX process. That work's still in progress, but it's all looking very good. And we expect to announce our findings on that approximately September of this year. Potash West has also flagged plans for running a pilot plant. How are plans progressing? And when would you expect to see it up and running? We've um, identified the process uh, and the size of equipment we need. We are now looking for funding for that to um, get started and we expect that to be achieved by the end of the year. Finally, Patrick, what do you expect will be Potash West's biggest milestone over the coming year? Certainly um, getting the pilot plant up and running, that will be a major thing and the results from that uh, that will be generated and then start feeding into the pre-feasibility work. Patrick McManus, thank you for the update to Potash West. Thank you, Elder.